I get it that if we aren't trusted by the community, if we don't have a fundamental level of trust, folks in the community aren't going to call us or come up and they're, they're fearful. But we're working hard to overcome that, to earn their trust. You don't respect the people that know the law. We know that you have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime before you can get our identification. Not everybody does. So when you go and ask people who don't know for their ID, that's not really fair. It's disrespectful and it's why we don't trust you. It's the police continuing to trample on civilians' rights. Questioning the passenger in my vehicle. Forcing him to give his ID because he doesn't know any better. There's what force is there? What force did I? How did I force him to give me his ID? He doesn't have to give you his ID. But you just said I forced him. How did I force him? Bro, you're steady at him. You're making him acquiesce to your authority. Bro, I got big lawyers too, and they're gonna call, and they're gonna send in the complaint. Bro, I'm, I tried to be nice and tell you what my rights are, and you steady want to try. I know you don't care. That's why you're going to go on break for a little while, my friend. If you only knew who I was, you wouldn't be doing this shit. But we're going to stop all this in South Florida. It's enough. Enough is enough. Learn your rights, dude. Don't be like this, dude. Learn your rights. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna go inside to see if they want to trespass you guys. If they want to trespass you, we're gonna trespass you. And at that point, you will have to give me your ID. Trespass me for what? For being for selling the stuff on private property. What are you What are you talking about? So you hang tight. Nobody, right? nobody saw us selling stuff. You pulled up. I was in my vehicle. We got a complaint out here. From who? Well, if I would have. From who? Who from... was the complaint from? Hold on. So Who was the here. complaint from? I don't have to give you that information. If you want to, you can do a public records request to get that information. We got a call out here because they said you guys were out here selling stuff. Did you see me selling are you, anything? Are you going to let me talk? No. Then, no. I'm, then I'm not going to talk. Did you see me selling anything? Then you have no right to ask these people to trespass. You didn't see me committing a crime or doing anything. What you're doing is illegal. I'm going to teach you your rights through paperwork. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you today. That's fine. Bro, it doesn't work like that, homie. It doesn't work like that. But I'm gonna teach you how it works. Now he's going in there trying to get us a trespass on something that he heard. He didn't see us do nothing, something that he heard. And won't even divulge the information to us about his suspicion or what he heard. These are our officers. These are the people we work hard for and give our tax dollars to who are trampling on our rights. Hopefully this guy, he looks like a young player. He looks like he's just getting into the game. Hopefully you learn something from this interaction. He doesn't understand what's gonna happen to him. I'm gonna show you through him. This is not how this goes. Your thing. You guys probably look for for somebody, right? For somebody. So okay, apparently I guess the coal came from that gas station, not this gas station. So they What's said your name and badge number, sir? Right there, Norris, 2591. you so alright, so the call came from the other gas station, not this gas station. So they said that as of right now that you have not peddled or done anything to their customers. They said as long as you Nor guys are doing- Nor did you see us committing a crime and you were asking for my ID illegally. Are you going to- Correct. Are you going to let me talk? No. Why? No. Do you no, realize that- because what's when coming you... out of your mouth is really trash, man. Okay, so- Really the, trash. So the, it's trash. I can't believe you would even put that badge on with honor and pride, dude, and still come up and disrespect people's rights by making them give their ID or trying to force them to give their ID. You, that is absolutely ridiculous, man. You're an officer of the uh, law. All I'm gonna say is that if you would have given me the two minutes to tell you why I don't have here, to give you the two minutes and I don't have to tell you shit, man. Okay. I don't. Okay. I so, don't. So you can go, you can go put that on YouTube. I know I can you go. I'm not go gonna put it on YouTube. I'm gonna send no. it to your boss because you're a clown. It. Go for it. A little respect goes a long ways with the citizens. Ever been stuck by the side of the road and you don't have the right tools and it's dark and it's cold and it's wet and your feet are cold 
and you're waiting for somebody to come help you and nobody wants to come. Then you got that wonderful police officer to stop and give you a hard time. Have a little empathy. That might go a long ways and I'm going to trust you again. I'm trying to get myself out of here then I'm not going to start. Flipping. Okay. Yeah. Do you have somebody that's going to help you? Get out I'm, here? You're being flipped. Sir, do you have somebody that's on their way that can help you? I don't need help. It looks like you're, it looks like you're up to your oil pan and right mud. No, I'll get out. I don't need help. What's that? I can get out myself. I don't need help. Okay. It'll just take could, me a bit. Then, then why haven't you yet? I am. Because then it died. I got some, now I've got some mechanical problems that I'm fixing first. Okay. Do you know how to fix the mechanical problems? Yes. Why haven't you? I'm in the process of it right now. It I, looked like you were sleeping. No, I had sandals you on. You were covered up in a wet. blanket. I was? Yeah, you were. I absolutely was not. Okay. You're wrong. Okay. You're wrong once was again. Was your jacket then? I wasn't covered up in anything. I was, I was looking, sniffing yeah. through for my it looks shoes. Like you were laying because down I had sleeping or something. It did. You could see through the foggy window what, what, what I was doing. Okay, so you had mechanical things that you're fixing back there? No, I'm looking for my shoes because I, I had sandals on. I had sandals on. Okay. It, it doesn't matter. I'm working on my car. I appreciate your attitude. You're being very kind. I know. I'm, it can't, blame him. Blame him. Blame him. Blame him. Well, you allow him to do it. You just, you you just stand there me? silent while he does it. Okay. Rick. No, you want this one. No, it's a deputy. F yeah. Being very polite. I appreciate it. Thank you. I I give what I get. Okay. And I, have I been new, rude to you? No, but you accept okay. it from him. So then why are you being rude? You to accept me? it from him. I'm trying to engage with you, and yet you're being rude to me. Does that seem fair? Does it seem fair to allow him to treat other people like he probably, I'm probably, I'm sure I'm not the only one that he's like that too. And you just stand there silent. Fair enough. Probably got somebody a little older and more mature out there. You do realize that none of us can hear you in the traffic, right? I said you probably got somebody a little older and more mature out there. Okay, so I'm being immature. Copy, but he is clear. So off camera, they illegally ID'd him because he had committed no crime. Oh, thank you. All right, man, it was nice meeting you. Uh, move your vehicle along sooner than later. It's not legally parked. What, what, what do I have to do to be legal? Uh, you have to find a place not right next to the highway. So a campground would help you out. I'm not camping. That's all I see so you can't figure out why we don't trust you when you pull over just to get an identification and then give the man a hard time because he's stuck in the mud. Yeah, that'll earn a trust. Another reason why we don't trust you as a citizen is because of this thing called discretion. It seems like you want to throw the book at us just because we don't jump at your orders or because you don't like the color of our skin. And you have discretion to give us a warning. So you, I, this is, I'm borrowing the vehicle. This is not my car. I involve. I have a license. My license is there. It's valid. Okay. I have a CDL. My license okay. is operating. This information is up to date. So you got to tow the vehicle for an inspection. Say or is again. It, I've seen people that have. Uh, they said they have got a ticket. You know what I'm saying for an inspection sticker. You say you're gonna tow the vehicle for an inspection sticker. Yeah, so it's displaying a fictitious inspection sticker. It's on a well, public this, way. I'm sorry. It's it's on a public way. It's displaying a fictitious inspection sticker. But even I'm saying I've seen people who have no insurance, but you never told the person or got a ticket. I've seen scenario or heard a scenario, yeah. but you got to tow the vehicle. Yeah, I mean, officer's discretion. So why would you need to tow the vehicle if I, if the the discretion? What is the what was the purpose to try to tow the vehicle because if we could get if we could remedy? Doesn't have an inspection sticker on it means that it could be not up to main inspection standards. Well, but it would be it would be on the officer. Okay. To decide that, right? Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. No, I was just trying to make sure. I'm saying, what is what is the severity or the why would you have to go extreme to be told when I've seen scenarios and I've been driving on the road? You know, I don't understand. I don't understand that. I don't understand the towing process. It should be a ticket, right? Because I've seen other worse scenarios. Oh my God! Step out, sir. Step out the vehicle. Yep. Why do I gotta step out the vehicle? Because I'm gonna tow it. And because I'm going to pat search you. If you don't step out of my place, you're under arrest for now. Can right you now. Hold on just a second, sir. 
Why did I have to step out of the vehicle? Sir, I'm not playing. This should be if this should be a civil ticket a ticket infraction. That's a bullshit inspection sticker. If that's if an inspection, out, I'm gonna place you under arrest. It's a misdemeanor. It's a misdemeanor. Okay. Baby. That's what I'm trying to I'm trying to understand the law as far as what you see here. You over here talking about it's against the law to go. That's not why this is my, my vehicle. This is what, that's what I'm saying. You're supposed to give Step me a ticket. This is a simple ticket. It's right, not a refusing to submit. Open the car door refusing and break to your window. Submit? What are you talking Sir, about? Step out now. I'm not playing. Hey, listen. Just what is step going out on? The car. Unlock the car door, ma'am. I'm trying to save you a window. Whoever's car it is. Can 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 you please just? Hey, listen. I ain't doing. The, I'm not doing the yeah, illegal well, here. This is something, the car, something that's a civil infraction right now, or, a, or a ticket. I wasn't even getting pulled Sir, over here. Right now, this is totally arrest. illegal and infringing and on please, my my right. Okay. I was. I was. This is my right to my privacy. You infringing on my Fourth Amendment right. Okay, which is my right to my it. privacy. To I wasn't bothering nobody here. There wasn't nothing here. To save you a window. Can I get out? Step out. And listen, I, I, I don't know why y'all open the door. I don't concern to no scent and no procedure. This, this is my right to my privacy. You are violating my rights. Can I get out? Yep, yeah, get out. All you have to do is get out of the car. Do I even have to say anything here of why we don't trust you?